Hello guys, in this video I would like to talk a bit about the auto prefixer and uh, particularly about the uh, post-CSS loader for webpack and auto prefixer library. Uh, it sounds like pretty easy task to implement it, but there are some uh, things that in my opinion that are not very clear and if you will watch this video I think you may save about two or even more hours in your development process. Okay, so let me show you uh, this example. Uh, we have a pack, right? And we have here loaders for CSS endless, and we need to extend them with uh, post CSS loaders, uh, right? And in this post CSS loader, we will activate, like we will call our auto prefixer. So let's look uh, uh, on the syntax. So we have CSS, right uh, we have css loader and post lo post css loader here and for less basically the same uh, this this is the first thing that i think can be confused because uh because of the order right so post post css post css less so you can think okay why this order but actually uh, it is very important uh, uh, here uh, because it will not work in other order and here is why because you need like to read from the right to the left uh, and this is it that will be your sequence of execution so first you will compile less to the css right then you will call post css that basically will add prefixes prefixes in our cases and then you need to uh, save like for example in uh, uh, in case of extract text plugin so then you will call your CSS loader right so that is the sequence a bit more discussion you can find by this link okay so now let's look uh, at the post CSS. So basically, again, we will call here only auto prefixer. Um, let's now I will I created a small example. So basically, we have our application, right? Here we imp we are importing two files, less in CSS, just to check that both cases uh, work. And in less and the CSS, we have uh, the same small class with some rules for flex boxes. Right, so flex boxes they are still uh, not supported in all browsers, so we may uh, see um, prefixes for these rules. So let's run our webpack. Okay, what we have? Okay, I think I didn't save it from the previous. One second, please. Okay. Let's look at it now. So we have uh, these rules, right, with extended uh, prefixes. And I think uh, they covered like everything, right? Why? Because we, uh, like we didn't set here something specific. So it's like uh, auto prefixes has uh, some options. Uh, like for example, you basically can specif specify what exact uh, list of browsers yet that you want to support. Uh, you can import your data from Google Analytics to Can I Use Service, and it will create again the list of browsers um, that you need to support for your site. So it is um, it is very powerful. Uh, so uh, let's uh, like uh, do some experiment with it. So the first idea that came to my mind is uh, that I don't need uh, to support like old browsers, right? And uh, I decided to be <laughs> pretty aggressive and do something like this. So I say, okay, let's support only browsers that uh, that are used by more than five percent a percent a percent of users right and um, yeah let's recompile it and let's we'll see what we will have in the result okay updated uh, okay so you see that now we don't have so much rules with prefixes 
All right, uh, but you know, um, when I worked on the Pacman uh, site, uh, where we use a uh, flex for our grid, and uh, I checked the site uh, on my iPad, and neither in Chrome nor in Safari, uh, our site didn't look good. And I thought, okay, uh, am I using uh, the browser that is not very popular? And yes, actually I am. Uh, and I didn't like to be in uh, this uh, set of browsers that doesn't support that doesn't support it. Um, so I thought, okay, maybe five percentage. It's like too too much, right? So um, actually, um, what? What is uh, the set of browsers um, uh, that we will support if we will have uh, these options? And on site, can I use uh, on page usage table? You can find this list. So basically, um, basically with this rule, we will support IE 11, right? We will support Chrome. This is the Chrome. Uh, we will support uh, I Safari for iOS and what else? Uh, Chrome for Android and UC browser for Android. Right? Uh, yeah, so not so much. Right? Uh, so I decided to not to be so aggressive and actually what I did, I did even that <laughs> because I am currently using Safari uh, 6. Uh, and I just wanted to test it in my iPad and I decided like I, I'm not actually alone with it even it says that there is zero percentage uh, users using it but still uh, okay, so uh, if we uh, do, if we add this rule so basically we will come back almost uh, to the uh, previous example Maybe in some cases we will have even uh, more uh, prefixes, uh, rules with prefixes, because by default uh, uh, this um, option is set to 1%. Okay, okay, so uh, let's uh, do next. Mm. Let's try uh, to add something like uh, flex basic. Um, yeah, let's add. Um, rule already uh, with the prefix and at this moment let's add maybe I don't know one or five so the idea is that I wanted to show like uh, what do you think what after prefix does what it does uh, maybe the first thing that uh, can came to your mind is that it adds prefixes uh, right 